Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are right over here at Madame Clairvoya's room and I'm going, going to be going right into the room itself. Here we go! We are finally going to be capturing her. Now this is what she meant earlier by uh, that I need to find uh, special items from a person and those special items are Mario. Dang it! Light up her crystal ball! There we go. And now start talking to her, and now you have to give her all the items that you have, and uh, she'll say that Mario's glove is still damp with the sweat of living, and the uh, wait, did you say, yes, it is indeed that Mario. And she's gonna say eventually, once you, uh, once you run out of power for that item, so to speak, and the spirits will give her visions and stuff like that, and it'll eventually run out of power, and she'll need more items to for to give uh, a prediction, uh, so to speak, of Mario or something like that. I don't get it, to per be personally honest. And, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that item no longer speaks to her or something like that. I, just, I never really understood what she meant by that. Um... Maybe it's because I don't know a lot about, like, ghost lore and stuff like that. And, uh, this takes quite a while, actually, here. So I'm just going to be clicking through this as much as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, I'm, sh I'm actually reading this, though, as fast as I'm clicking through it. So, as I've said before in other walkthroughs, if you ever want to read things as I'm clicking through it, because I read really fast... Uh, you sh are best off pausing the game, because I really don't like to waste out, um, you know, waste a lot of time uh, in my walkthroughs. I, I, like, I like to keep the progress going, so to speak, most of the time, unless I'm explaining something. So, uh, yeah, she keeps uh, reciting those chants and going through the same lines over and over until she finally gets over to parts of the plot, which I already explained about King Boo. Well, sort of. Yeah, basically, Mario was captured by King Boo, and, uh, yeah, and I believe there's two more things to give to her, and it's, his star is the next one, unless I click through this faster than even I thought, and I'm already through four of them, but I don't think so, I think I'm on the fourth one, so, uh, yeah, once she, uh, does all of her fortune telling from these pieces, she's basically going to be saying, oh, I'm so happy I did this, and uh, now I can go back to my painting and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's kind of funny, the ghosts fear something. I guess that was item four. But yeah, they the, all the ghosts pretty much fear my Poltergust uh, 3000 here, because it's the ghost-sucking machine, basically. This thing is a beast, baby. And, uh... So, let's just keep talking with her here, and yeah, there's not really much to talk about here anymore. <laughs> well, luckily this is the last one anyway. What are you talking about? Bowser? Bowser's in the mansion? Impossible! The okay, maybe it's not impossible. But uh, I'll go into that more later. Anyway, that's all that she can do, because it's last for power, and the spirits have departed, and... So, she will be very happy to go into the, her painting once again. So, I'll just stun her with the flashlight and suck her in. Uh, I don't think she's going to put, much, put up much of a fight, actually. In fact, I don't ever remember her breaking off from you. Even if... Well, she just dropped poison mushrooms, I guess. But, but it, as you can see, she doesn't have a very strong pull there. So, she doesn't knock you off her very easily. In fact, she's very willing to go back into her painting. So I don't even know why she's dropping poisonous mushrooms. Unless poisonous mushrooms are actually uh, part of the spirit world themselves or something like that. Which would explain why they can sap your life energy if you were to grab one. And there's a key! Woo! And this should be the key to the safari room on the third floor. Which is where I couldn't go to uh, next. But I in that room is the last golden mouse. And, uh, wait, wait, excuse me, the last cheese golden mouse of this chapter, or area, I should say. And now that this room is cleared, you have the chance at getting a boo. Uh, there's a ball. Dang it! Why do you almost, why do you do that to me? And here we go, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Wait, Luigi or Booigi? 
Oh, I get your punness. And that's it. So now that that's over with, what I'm going to be doing is trying to get the gold mouse in the safari room as well as the gold mouse in the second floor hallway now that the safari room is open, and I'll explain why. Um, I wanted a door that was close by to the second room area where you would find that gold mouse because um, otherwise you would have to go down the hallway pretty far away each time you wanted to reset the room for a gold mouse. Anyway, the trigger point for the gold mouse is actually not where you would see the mouse. It is actually going. Uh, it's actually down this hallway here and... And then the gold mouse would appear here and then run straight down the hallway. Like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to suck in the bomb ghost, dang it! And then, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Um, that door there, is that? I forgot what that door leads. Oh, that door is locked right now, okay. I remember what that room is, I'm not gonna say yet, uh, say what it is yet though. Anyway, now I gotta reset this room. Because I obviously didn't see the gold mouse that time. So, give me, ah, oh, I don't need that. But I will suck in these bats, though. Okay, now over here is the safari room. I might as well get the uh, the ghost over here. F I mean, the uh, gold mouse here. All you have to do is whip out your Game Boy Horror near these crates and examine the cheese. Exit immediately, and it's going to do a loop around the center of the room here. And then you're going to get its cash. Um, do that before you shake the antlers on the on the walls in this room. Because once you do that, uh, the ghost of this, of this room will appear. Um, so by doing so, you won't clear the room, but but yet you'll still have a clear shot at that mouse every time. So okay, let's go back down to the hallway here and see if the oh my god it appeared! Woo! That's yet another random gold mouse, and might I add that was the last gold mouse of chapter three here. And uh, yeah, well, I should say area three. Oh my god, I almost sucked in that bomb ghost. <laughs> And now I can do some pr more progress, and I don't have to worry about any more blue ghosts or gold mice. Awesome. So let's go in here and start by looting this room quite viciously, um, you know, before anything happens. I believe there's a heart in here. Yeah, there's a pretty big heart in there. Um, oh shoot, I shook them all. Oh, I need fire. No, wait, I need... I need... Oh, I need ice for those. Okay. I gotta go back down the hallway to the second floor. Um, do you remember where the closest ice was? I do, so I'll just show you here real quick. It's just right down in the hall. And then you go over to the tea room into, into that bucket of ice where I joked that they had some uh, beer in the bucket. Um, that's this room right over here. I can't do anything about those water element ghosts without some ice, so that's why I have to come back in here. There we go. Ice power, ahoy! And open this door, and down the hall I go once again. So this room right here is known as the sealed room. It, that that contains a gold mouse as well, but it's a random gold mouse. That's the gold mouse that I said that I wasn't going to be covering if it did, didn't appear the first time, because of how many chan of how many uh, times I might have to. Uh, go down that into that area. You'll see why it's annoying to do later. Do I have to uh, move these heads again? These antlers or this, the trophies? No, 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 no. Those are smasher ghosts. Um, what they do is they slam the floor around them and they create a shockwave which damages you. And it also knocks you for a loop. And you are gonna get frozen. There we go! And you're gonna be put into my vacuum. You are a very dirty ghost. That's why I'm putting you in the vacuum. Anyway, I would really like to clear the safari room out. Oh, there's a banana tosser. And gimme. I hope those bananas don't get in my way. They're in a really bad position. But luckily they didn't. So oh. how the heck? I was sucking in that banana peel and somehow I managed to take a hit from the banana peel anyway. Uh, what an injustice. Let's get the rest of these before the other one appears again, and let's try and suck it in before it, before I lose my grip on it or slip on a banana peel. And that should clear the room. Which opens a treasure chest, and there is a bunch of boos, or I should say the boo raiders. The radar is going crazy here. Is that it? Oh, it's a boo bomb. Nope. Let's try shaking the chair. Is that it? And it's little boo peep. Oh no! It's 
lost the sheep and must be very depressed, then it just, dang it, it just went, just went into that room. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it to go back into the safari room, so I'm gonna move to this side of the room to make him go in the opposite direction. I don't want him to go into those other rooms just yet, because I literally can't access them. Um, so I'm going to get him like that, and there we go. And now I'm gonna finally open that treasure chest. And there we go. And open says me. I said open says me. Don't just don't just hump the treasure chest, Luigi. God. When I say open the treasure chest, I mean open the treasure chest. And okay, let's take a look at, in the rest of this room just to see if I can get any more from it. I think I cleared it out pretty well. Okay. Let's just go over here and where did that the key say it went to? Uh, oh, it actually it actually does go down this hall here. Okay. So, down this hall I go, and to the boss! This is the this is the door that you normally couldn't open, unless you didn't have 20 boos in your possession. This is what I was talking about earlier. And, uh, uh, later when I come back to this balcony here, there's a bunch of plants here that you're definitely gonna want to water, water. There's like 12 or 13 plants or something like that. Um, but as for now, because I, I don't have water, and I'll have to get water anyway to water the plant in the fourth area, I'm just gonna take on the boss now. So, you'll see there's a bunch of ghosts in the middle here. Let's do this! Boo left here, a little colossal boo, boo losses. 
and there we go. Now that they're so fast, I pretty much have to shoot ice balls at them to get them. So stay on this side of the room and shoot ice balls at them from a distance if you can, like like by clicking the uh, L button like that. That's perfect. And whoop, come on. And there's only one left, so it'll stay as a little boo. Um, because there's pretty much nothing it can do to reform into Colossus, because it doesn't have its other little boos to uh, form a much more powerful and larger boo. Come on, do your attack. There we go. Stay on this side so I can aim. Dang it, I said stay in front of me. Dang it. No, ow. Do not go over there. There. <laughs> um, I took a lot of damage here, I have to say, but this boss isn't hard at all if you know what you're doing. And come on, come on. I'm not being very efficient here. Dang it! Do your thingy. There we go. And... No, 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 no. Nice. No, 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 no. Oh, I ran out of ice power, too! What a rip-off! I gotta, gotta get some more ice from the unicorn there. That's that's another thing. If you ever notice you run out of ice, you can, you can just go over to that unicorn to get some. Woo! Oh, so close! Yes, I got it! And that's the end of Bulosis! Woo! And that's also the end of this part, I think. Well, besides... Wait, wait, can I shake these unicorns over here just for the heck of it? Just for the heck of it. Let's see if I can. Uh, that'll give me the key to this door over there, which we'll be doing in the next part. But yeah, I can't shake those unicorns. So let's just grab the key, which is the diamond key. And go over to Egad's place to make ourselves some ghost portraits. And yes, I can hear you. The white mist. That white mist wasn't just the white mist. It was a boo, dang it. Or, you know, it made me go to some alternate dimension for a boss battle. And that sounds like a delicious dinner that we're gonna have. Pickles with diesel marinade. I have always wanted to have a dinner like that, but it was always too ritzy for me. So I never could afford it. So, I always had to settle for bologna. <sighs> And now it's going to be making some delightful portraits. Look how happy Egad is. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all the ghosts in this area. I really hope I did, because I hate to miss some of them, especially the optional ones. Um, well, that, those are the only ones I could miss, excuse me, because, uh, you know, I really want those white diamonds for the um, A rank score. And there was Bulosis there, uh, Madame Clairavoya. This one was Biff Atlas. Uh, which one was this one? Uh, Slim Bank Shot. The twins should be coming soon. Oh, there's Petunia. Oh my god, Rosie O'Donnell. Why would he frame that? Oh, there's Nana. And there's the twins. They were the last one of all of them. I guess they, like, be processed. I mean, they're processed in a random order or something like that. But anyway, you're welcome, Egad. Let's check over the ghosts we caught. And there should be six of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or, wait, maybe there's seven of them. Yeah, there's seven of them. And the middle one should be uh, Bulosis there. Oh, Henry and Orville, I guess, are the twins' names. Oh, I guess they do have a name. Hm. Oh, there you go. I, I learned something. You learn something new every day. Anyway, 16 ghosts now. And here are the totals of what I have. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm getting so close to the A rank, I can feel it. This is one of my best runs ever, because I'm pretty much scouring the house as much as I possibly can. And grand total, 53 million! Woo! Alright, I'm definitely going to get the A rank, and that makes me feel good. So, that about does it for this part here. I'm going to be saving, and I'll see you guys in the next part, where I start Area 4. I'll see you there. I hope you enjoy.